Okay, Jessica's back. Um, Antonika is back. I'm grabbing a sip of water. Let's okay, so see who else is going to join us. Um, do any of you know of, of, of your classmates that um, weren't, um, that, that, that couldn't attend today's session because of load shedding? I know that Minka informed me. Um, okay. Like I said yesterday, to share with everybody um, the information. Obviously, uh, the sessions are recorded. So information is available to you immediately after the class um, or not immediately within as quickly as possible um, as, as load sharing would would allow me to uh, Kia is joining us as well um, now Twitter is also a, a, um, a tool that is very efficient um, through um, um, the ad mentions, the retweets, and, and, and all the searches that you can do, you um, can actually list um, and establish certain specific trends. Um, you can actually also identify what customers are tweeting about, especially um, about your organization and, and the services that you offer. Um, Cloud.com is also a website that, that um, can help you monitor the Twitter influences um, because they they specialize in, in measuring the content of tweets. Um, it's quite interesting. It's a it's a whole it's a whole new business within a business, basically. Um, LinkedIn um, probably something that you will start using a bit later in your life once you start working. I think a, a lot of professional people use this because um, it's a very um, very useful tool to um, maybe do job searches um, and I do use it a lot um, it's nice groups within a group because you can you can chat to you can to chat to people in a similar positions um, in their career maybe working in the same field um, their opinion on certain aspects and uh, the feedback you get is very positive and and to be honest with you nowadays the majority of um, of employee, um, employees employees employers who are looking for um, for people to fill vacancies at their business um, they they search for the possible candidates uh, once you've submitted your um, your CV and completed the application for a job they they search LinkedIn and if you're not present on there um, yeah. Um, it's not, it's definitely not going to um or it's it is going to affect you negatively um although the interview at the end of the day is still the important thing other social media analytical tools that can be used um it's highlighted in your in your textbook as well i think it's on page 110 and 11. um all obviously have different functions that they fulfill um you can just read through those um you do not have to know each of them individually. I'm not going to ask you a question in, in the test on the exam that says, um, here's a list of different social media analytical tools that's used quite frequently. Um, what do each of them do? I'm not going to ask you what the social media relationship management um, um, tool does or what the um, business intelligence tool does. Um, you just as future um, entrepreneurs and, and, and marketers just need to be aware of the different tools that is available. Um, and that's why the content on page 110 and 11 is important, um, not from an assessment point of view, but um, for, uh, for future reference, if you are looking for a particular, um, um, if you're looking for a particular tool to, to, to provide you with more information on a subject. Right. Um, why do people um, complain on, on uh, and use social media to complain? I think because as, as we said that um, they want quick responses um, and usually um, on the social media platforms, the response is quite quick, if not immediate. 
um, they do feel that they've lost confidence in the traditional methods of using um, of, of, of complaining. Um, obviously, it depends on what you're complaining about. Um, I think if if you bought um, if you bought a tray of eggs from Pick and Pay and you got home and half of them are broken, um, you're not going to necessarily complain um, uh, online, uh, send them a mail or go onto their Facebook, um, um, the Facebook link on their page, uh, on their web page. Um, you're going to go back to the shop and complain. And if then your complaint has not been resolved, you probably use other means. But usually people want instant um, response um, and um, they quickly jump onto the um, electronic bandwagon and um, because they feel um, that um, they feel that if there's a quick response to a complaint that they have um, logged, um, it shows that you care. That's what um, the social care is about. The customer feels that you care if you respond quickly. The problem might not be resolved, but the fact that you are aware of the problem by responding immediately um, is, is already a, a very good um, sign um, for your business. And, um, and on obviously, the customer feels um, immediately feels at ease. If you do not follow up on that and actually resolve the problem, a quick response um, doesn't have any benefit at all. Then it's better not to reply at all because if you're not going to follow up quickly like you have with your initial response, then you're going to have um, a similar result and that is not a good one. Um, websites that's used in South Africa quite regularly. Um, I've never been on any of them except for Hello Peter because um, again, it's, uh, it's free. You can lodge your complaints about businesses in South Africa um, um, at no cost. Um, and it's very, it is very, um, it's become very powerful. I know that, um, for instance, if you are considering to do business with a new service provider, a tool that is very often used by, by, um, by people is to go on to um, hellopeter.com and see if there has been any complaints about that business before they engage. So it's not just a tool to complain if you've had a bad experience, it's also a tool to maybe um, uh, grade um, a particular service provider that you are considering to, um, to use in future, just to make sure that you do not have to complain afterwards. Okay, so it's used for, for that dual function. Um, when we return tomorrow, um, and again, for the same purpose as, 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 as last time, I want um, those of you who are going to be available to, to participate in tomorrow's session, uh, third period tomorrow, um, on page 114 and 115 in your textbooks, there is a case study um, on F and B. Um, the case study is in your slides as well on those pages. I have copied them into your slides as well. And then there are some discussion questions that we are going to do um, as our summary of chapter four tomorrow. Okay, I'm pretty sure you might not have any questions at the moment. Make sure that you use this um, opportunity um, um, effectively. Uh, do read through it. It's not a lot. Um, don't come to me tomorrow and say, oh, I couldn't read it because there was load shedding. I know there's load shedding. We plan around load shedding. It's, we can't wish it away. We just have to deal with it um, better. And we are frustrated because of that, of course, yes. But um, please, if you if you will be so kind, I would really appreciate it if you can read through chapters, um, chapters page 114 and 115. Uh, it's not a lot of reading to do, um, just to familiarize yourself with the, the scenario, and then we'll address all those questions um, in an attempt to, to summarize and close this chapter. Right, any questions that you might have at this stage, any of you, those who um, are participating, thanks Marley for the thumbs up there. 
Uh, Jessica, Tanika, you're all good? Yes, sir, I'm all good, thank you. Good, thanks. Yeah, you too, everything good? Okay, um, we'll chat again tomorrow. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. Good luck if you still have any classes. Um, remember that we do have a long weekend ahead of us, so it's something to look forward to. Um, next Monday is a public holiday for those who are not familiar with what the calendar of March looks like. It's um, Human Rights Day on Sunday the 21st, but because it's on a Sunday, it's a, it's a public holiday, um, so there won't be classes next Monday. Um, but um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just read through our case study for tomorrow and we finish off the year, um, the, we finish off the week on a high tomorrow in the third period. Good. Thanks very much. Thanks Thank for, you, sir. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you, sir. No pleasure at all. Thanks, Thank for you, sir. Good rest of the day. Thank you very much.